What do we have here? We got a Sidibian, a great budget brand from China. Boy, look at the centering on that guy. That is just dead nut centered. Uh, I think it's Sidibian. Uh, Sidibian. Well, I've heard people say Sidibian. I think it's Sidibian. Um, but you know, it's whatever. It's uh, that's like Hermione Granger with her Leviosa, Leviosa, you know, however you want to say it, don't matter. This one is in the JG10. It's got a funky fuller with two funky holes. Kind of strange, but they work. Um, not so much for the thumb. I mean, well, if you really get in there, you can kind of dig the meat of your thumb in there and get it going, but it's not a thumb opener. But reverse flick down here, right about there is where I can find it. Pretty good. It would be better if this G10 was ground down a little bit. Uh, I might do that. Uh, but for now, we're reviewing it as is, and it's a damn nice knife. Even if we just say it's just a flipper only, it's really, really smooth. I mean, um, when it came in, it was uh, shake shutty, and it's just from opening it and closing it, you know, a couple hundred times, it's just about drop shutty. Nice sound to it. Very slicey edge, too. Uh, pretty much what you would call a full flat grind. Nice grind lines on it, too. Just a real nice look. Uh, these little doodads here, these little cut-ins are neat. Could definitely give it some traction, some some good grip. G10 backspacer that matches, that's kind of cool. Lanyard holes, a little, I don't know, a little pushy. Two lanyard holes, I don't know. I don't know why you need that. Well, it's not about needing it. It's about trying to tie in the two features, the lanyard hole and the fuller with the two holes so that's it good job um pocket clip is the usual from these guys use usable doesn't really need that extra little bill there but not bad the pivots stick up uh, more than they do sometimes on satibians and other budgets uh, i don't know why it's like they're not uh, sunk down in there very much and it's not uh, super thick of a handle. It's, you know, I would say it's right where it needs to be. I think it's a three and a half inch blade, so a mid-size. Very sturdy feeling, although the blade thickness is maybe a little on the thin side as far as mm, knives in this family are usually a little thicker. The uh, flipper tab very grippy even though they could have gone one more jimping line on there probably should have but it's it's pretty grippy i mean you kind of have to purposefully screw up to slip off of this guy don't know if i'll dye the scales i really like the uh jade look with the with the black showing through might have been cooler with all black hardware but you can't complain it's nice Definitely kind of a generic knife shape handle. Comfortable enough. Not hand melting by any stretch, but gets the job done. No choil really. Well, I mean, it's a sharpening choil and it's actually a good sharpening choil. It's got, it goes up past the plunge grind a good bit. So you got plenty of room there for sharpening and uh, that kind of thing. The usual blade stop. I like where this blade stop is. Sometimes they put them further down, closer to the closer to the axis of the pivot, like say down in here. But this one's up near the top. That's where it should be to me. Um, separate it as much as you can from that pivot axis so that you have a geometry of two pins that are separated by distance, holding that blade. Well, that was a flub. Holding that blade from going up and down and taking, you know, not bending or something. If it gets pressed into something hard. Good size uh, stop pin too. Not huge, but good enough. 
the uh, liners are, uh, why am I closing it again? I want to look at the liners. They're skeletonized a little bit. They got some holes cut in them and they are polished. So sometimes you get these budgets and you look down inside there and it's like, mm, they didn't really bother too much with that. It's just some ratty looking, uh, you know, ground or I don't know, sandblasted steel, if that. Sometimes it just looks like cold rolled steel, like you get it off the out of the factory. But this one looks like they hit it with some polish. I think that probably keeps the uh, possibility of rust down a little bit too. You don't have a, a porous metal. You have it nice and polished. It, it seems like it keeps the rust down. So uh, this is one of those deals where, you know, is there anything super special about it? No, but if you happen to like that look, I do, I think it's pretty neat and um, are needing a knife in this range. $30, $35 knife, um, I would not hesitate to grab this guy. Uh, let's see. Blade is very tight. No lock rock. Let's see. It's got any um, pivot, eh, what they call that, pivot lash? Nope. Well, maybe a tiny bit, but I mean, geez, it's a $30 knife. You expect uh, NASA tolerances, but when it's locked up, no play. Really nice grind lines too. In the picture on Amazon, it looked like this was a mirror polish. So maybe a tiny bit of disappointment when I got it and it wasn't. Um, but the grind lines look good. Not bad at all. I'll put a, uh, a link down yonder in the description. Uh, maybe I'll just show the Amazon page right here. I think there's some color options too, which is cool. You know, I think they have it in black. Um, I don't remember. We'll put them up here maybe. Yeah. Sativian. Might as well know the number, huh? A 141. Sativian 141 in D2. So D2 steel. Sativian's D2 has uh, uh, historically checked out to be D2 and not uh, garbage. Uh, fake D2, like some companies that will remain un, unnamed occasionally do, uh, even grow. And so you can probably assume that this one is, you know, actually D2. It'll hold an edge fairly well. And it is, it comes pretty slicey down to a fairly thin edge. So great work knife, great fun knife. Pretty fidgety. Grab you a 141 from Sativian. Have a nice date.